Hey, welcome back to another episode of Eric's Camping Adventures. Today we're going to do just a little bit of maintenance on my Honda Pilot and talk about some plans I have for uh, my camping setup. So for maintenance today, I'm going to pull my wheels off and I'm going to take a little look at my sway bar links, make sure they're in good shape after the little bit of off-roading that I've done. I just like to check those every now and then. The other thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to upgrade my uh, front tires and put some new ones on. Falcon Wild Peak AT3W. I really like the tire and the quality. So I'm actually going to put some new ones on the front. I'm all for saving money, but these little uh, Harbor Freight electrical impacts um, will definitely save your back. I'm all for the ergonomics of taking these off the right way um, with a lug wrench, but uh, you cannot beat these. So this right here is a sway bar link. Um, it is definitely tight. That's not going anywhere. Um, I'm looking for maybe just a little bit of chatter moving it, but I'm not seeing any, at least not on this side. Um, the reason I think the sway bar links are really important is they stop the travel of the suspension. And with four wheel independent suspension, if you get too much travel, you put a traction force on your axle as well as a uh, high angle on your CV joint, and that is going to break equipment. So uh, um, I like to not repair things if I can avoid it. <laughs> so I went by a salvage yard and I picked up some Honda Pilot rims that match my rims. Um, they were grade B. They were not grade A. One of them came with a little center plug. <laughs> the other one did not. I will have to uh, um, order one probably from Rock Auto and get that. But they were relatively inexpensive, $95. And then I put some new um, Falcon Wild Peak on them and they're going on the front of the vehicle. So one of the things I want to do with this uh, little maintenance time is put on some locking lug nuts, um, just one on each rim um, to secure the rim. I just don't want them stolen it seems like these days. If you don't have it locked down or tied down it could be missing. Occasionally when I'm preparing for a trip I do leave my vehicle and trailer outside at night. So. Um, that would be frustrating to come back and um, want to take off and you can't so I'm gonna put my locking lug nut on first by the way when you put your lug nuts on um, you should always do your bottom one first that's because of the way gravity pulls your rim um, and it allows it to center up on the bottom one then you can balance it right between the little wedge on your lug nuts at the base of your lug nut um, and the wheel will center. It's going to put that on really loose to start. We'll come back around and snug them up. Always go in a opposite pattern. So I put the first lug nut on here and the second one goes across. And you're going to go across again. That's what helps your rim to center on your hub so that it's not running lopsided. So 
So before you go to pay to get your rig checked out for a unbalanced wheel, uh, you might consider just uh, uh, checking your uh, lugs and make sure you have them fastened right. Now I'm going to go back and snug them up. So now I know my sway bar links are intact and I got a brand new tire on there and the lug nuts are fastened in the right order. These little electrical impacts will cost you a little bit of money up front, but they will save you a uh, copay and maybe even a deductible for back surgery. <laughs> So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my uh, <laughs> tire pressure gauge basically as a way to measure the depth of the tread on my remaining four tires and I'm going to keep the best four for my vehicle. The other two um, I have some special plans for. So if you're doing math out there, um, you realize I now have two extra tires and two extra rims. And that is my next project. If you look back, about a year ago I did a walk around with my camping trailer. And I talked about putting some Honda Pilot rims on them. So since I found a good deal at a salvage yard, I decided to put uh, some new tires on, on the uh, salvage rims, put those on the Pilot. I took my worst two tires which was my spare that was underneath and the one tire that I uh, measured to be the most shallow tread depth and those two are going to go on to the trailer. Now that's not going to be just a simple pull that tire off and put this tire on. Um, it's going to require a little bit longer axle. Found a good deal on one. It's going to take some wheel adapters to get from five by four and a half to 120 millimeter and it's going to take some uh, removal of the old fender and that's going to have to go and I may have to create my own new fenders we'll just see what happens I got some angle iron that will match nicely to the uh, camper and that will make a nice attachment for the new fenders whichever direction I go on those whether they be some that I order and cut down to size or if I just fabricate some so one very real reason I am making the change out of the tires on the trailer is right here. Right now I have to carry two separate um, size spares, one for the trailer, one for the vehicle. This will eliminate that. The real size spare that's now underneath the pilot will match the trailer. If something horrible happens, um, I have to leave the trailer. Um, I have two tires on there that I can get out with. Very good reasons to uh, change is your, is your uh, spares all being the same. Don't have to carry a different size spare. This space, I have some ideas for it, but uh, that will develop later on down the road. Come back for the next episode, and we are going to uh, definitely be taking some steps on this camper. Make sure you watch the bloopers at the end, and you'll find out why I decided to go this direction.
Go down that. <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Adding new stickers is definitely legitimate maintenance. Um, one is uh, from West OK Overland and the other one is from Bad Ack Adventure Company. Um, it's going to be another episode.